Okay, so the calendar is already set up for you. So we're just going to edit each day's page. Um, so you just click on the lesson. Um, I've already put kind of the standard um, of each lesson in there. So you'll just come up here to the edit button. Um, and you'll type in your objective. Um, so for this first lesson, we're going to say I can calculate the distance of a line on the coordinate plane and I can calculate the midpoint of two points. Um, if you want to reward those objectives, that's fine, but those are the topics for this first. Um, so to link something, um, we're going to be using the Google Drive. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start with the bell ringer that's provided. So if you just right click on it and you'll go to get link um, and you want to make sure it says Knox County Schools. Um, and so you just click on it to change it. And we want our students to just be viewers. Um, those are kind of the defaults. So you usually shouldn't have to change those, but just check them. And then you just hit copy link and done. And then we're going to come over and we're going to highlight the word bell ringer. And up here is the link. And so I'm going to link an external link. And then I just paste it. And now it is linked. So same thing with notes. We're just going to highlight the word. I'm going to come up here to the notes that are provided. I'm going to right click, get link, Knox County Schools viewer. So copy link and done. Come back over. And I'm going to go to link, external link, and paste it. All right, and then the practice. So whatever activity the students are going to do. So I right click, get the link, Knox County Schools viewer, copy link, done. Come back over to Canvas, and I choose the link button, external link, paste, done. And lastly, the exit tickets highlight it, come here, right click, get link, Knox County Schools viewers, so copy link, done, and then link, external link, and paste it, done, and then I want to come down here and make sure I save and publish so that the kids have access to it, so save and publish, and that lesson is done, so when I come back to the home button, they should be able to click on it and they have access to all the materials that's gonna, that are going to be used in that class for that day. All right. I hope that helps.